Welcome to the Machine Learning at Home. Today I will speak about how to find which groups are closer to each other. And I will speak about dimension reduction again. So we already learned how to see groups with the help of convex hull and ellipses and found out how to find outliers in these groups. So now question is more mathematical one because I want numbers. I want to know how close in terms of numbers are one group to another. Let us see how it's possible to make with the same convex hull and confidence ellipses. So first of all I will load my library and then I will make a principal component analysis as an example. Same RSP, PRCOMP will be of all iris data with an exception of species column, column number 5. And then I will extract the actual scores, principal component 1 and 2. Everything in one row. Okay, and now I will make ellipses, but I will delay my plotting just return any information about ellipses. Aris E will be the ellipses function is ellipses, which will be Aris P as a first argument, so actual projection, result of dimension reduction, in that case of principal component analysis. Then I need groups, second argument, so this is our variable number 5. And then I will need to specify that I need centers. And I do not need plot. So why did I know, uh, did I want these centers? Because the first approach which help you to understand how close is one group to another is simply to measure distance between centers. So distance between centers of group will to some extent show the actual distance between groups. To some extent because groups might have very different geometrical shape. So let us go with centers. First of all, we need to extract center information from iris.e object. So let me see. Iris EC will be our center information. And information about centers are holding inside attributes. So we need function ATTR and we'll apply it to iris to our iris ellipsis iris e and we need to provide name of attribute centers and I will need to show this one immediately to you so I put external parenthesis this one will make object iris.ec and immediately show it contents so you see centers is a just two column table of x and y coordinates for each groups which is a row so for example setosa have center on minus two six three four four five eight one x coordinate and minus zero point one seven six one two eight one nine four y coordinate so this is how i retrieve it information about centers and now distance between centers will be extremely simple. So simply dist iris dot ec. By default function dist will calculate Euclidean geometric distance. So very, very understandable, I hope, that distance between Setosa and Virginica is maximal. Whereas between Versicolor and Virginica is minimal. So very logical. And if you remember these pictures, and we'll, you will see some picture very soon, that is related with reality. We can also visualize distances with hierarchical clustering. So simply say plot 
h class dist iris dot ec so at first distance will be calculated then it will be hierarchically clusterized and then plotted okay that's logical plotting which shows you the color and virginica together whereas setosa is more distance as it should so now i like to go forward and go with some plotting related to the centers how we visualize centers one of way of course just to show groups and centers and i like to show them connected with some dotted line so let us start with plotting so we plot our iris p object and colorizes by iris pieces okay so we have three different colors then we need to plot ellipses but i will plot it in a slightly unusual way so by default ellipses are using lines the low level command lines for plotting but i will use polygon and I will shade it with the transparent colors. In some way, it's slightly more attractive. So the actual code is simple, but more complicated than typical plotting of ellipses. So I will need to make a cycle for i in 1 to 3. So I will need three different ellipses. I will plot for each of them polygon so I need a polygon function which will take iris e object then will subset it with i so for at first it will take i as one then as two then as three so I will make it three times and I don't need a border for polygon and I will for color use slightly complicated function which allow me to use transparency. So adjust color. Adjust color. And number is the same i. 1, 2, or 3. And then transparency will be 0 0.2. So alpha. Dot f is equal to 0 0.2 for example okay so looks like i need to close my parenthesis let me see it yes to open to closed and then i will have this polygons plotted so look like they have very nice appearance they are half transparent and have colors like transparent black transparent pink transparent green one two three okay and now i need the centers it very it's very easy so i simply use polygon again but just once and i use iris ec our center so this table iris ec and type of line will be dotted dashed that dashed line okay. okay so now you see centers connected with a dashed line so we now see how centers are located so this is how to use centers for understanding the distance between groups and i will give you the second way slightly more complicated way through the membership so membership is an idea that some dots are outside of ellipses. If two groups are very close together, they probably intersect and have many members in both groups. It is visible here. If groups are distant, like Setosa, there will be probably no intersection or almost no intersection. So we simply can count how many dots are in both or in all three or in just in one ellipse and that will give us a measure of distance so it's called membership measurement of distance 
and that way I will use my pinhole function. So iris dot pie and function name is uppercase pin hole point in polygon point in hole. I will need my projection as first argument and ellipsis as second argument. And now I can simply measure the distance with the dist function. So simply dist, dist, iris, pie. And because pie consists only of true and false, I will need a specific way to measure distance. Method equal to binary. It's called asymmetric binary because differences, similarities in Absences, similarities in zeros, are not count, only in presences, which probably is good for us. Okay, so we have now distances between rows, but I want distances between our col uh, be between our columns. So I will transpose my matrix, and that will be final result. Okay, so now I have this information that where the color and virginica are less distant whereas distance between setosa and where the color and distance between setosa and virginica is maximal this is easy to explain because setosa has no points in common with either where the color or virginica that is why the distance is maximal whereas where the color and virginica have some points in common and this is why distance is less than maximum. So this is how to find distances between groups. Both methods based on centers and based of membership are not perfect. For example, centers method don't take into account the shape of the actual group. It might be very different and very strange. So we only reduce group to centers and then centers might not represent the relations very well. Now, membership is better, but look on that outstanding group. We don't know anything about it except it has no intersection. So, how to measure distance between this group and to others? It's just maximal in our table. Also, interesting thing is membership does not count empty spaces here. But empty spaces are meaningful. They probably will show us some possible members of group. So it would be nice to use this empty space to calculate the distance as well. So that method I will present on my next video. Thank you very much.